was uh, February 21st, about 3.15 p.m. Uh, wife and I, kids, we were on our way up to go see Shania. She was already at uh, Prescott, Arizona for the Arizona State basketball games. Uh, we were going up there to watch a game. And uh, we got word that a good friend of mine, uh, his name is Emmett McIntosh, uh, we call him Edu. But uh, we got word that uh, he he passed away. And I was a shock at first and disbelief. And I thought about my daughter because Edu always asked if he would wanted to play basketball, so that was what we did a lot. We were always at the basketball court, we were always playing. It was always competitive, it's one-on-one. The evening times, and it was it was awesome games all the time. But uh, when I got worried and I was sitting there for a while, crying my eyes out, I, I thought about her, and I, I didn't want her to hear from anybody else, and because I, I already know how that is. So I, I got a hold of her and I, I told her uh, she was in shock, but I didn't think it was going to hit her the way it did. Uh, later, uh, not too long after, I got a message from Coach, and she said, uh, trying to be there. We, we tried being there for Shania. She's pretty messed up. She's crying. She had to comfort her, talk to her. Uh, she took it pretty hard. I talked to her, I messaged her. You know, I told her the last time I talked to Ida, he was, he was watching one of our videos that we made of her training, during her trainings, and he was uh, surprised and shocked of how much she improved. And he's, he's, he stated that I uh, can't wait to see her play college ball. He's telling me, keep pushing her, bro. And I was just telling her those words, just comforting her. I didn't know how she was going to take it or how she, if she was even going to be able to play. And uh, to my surprise, she actually started. I was worried for her, but she actually did pretty good. Uh, she did what we usually did at the park. She showed up and she showed up to play. I remember uh, the Braves were down 20 and they ended up uh, fighting the way back and catching up. Uh, it was about 59 to 63, about a minute left. Uh, they bring the ball down. Uh, she was open in the corner. So it was the pastor in the corner and she, she hit it. Everybody started going crazy. They went on to to make one more bucket after that and two free throws uh, to win the game. And uh, when she came out of the locker room that after that game, she was in tears. And the first thing she said was, that shot was for e That got me. Uh, lately, or uh, recently, we uh, played a game, just me and her, and it brought memories back of uh, basketball and either, especially what he said about Shania playing at the next level. But um, uh, the chances of college ball from where we come from is kind of low because of the small area lack of exposure but uh this year is supposed to be Shania's senior year uh, her year to shine but uh with the pandemic going on it, it's been a whole summer of no basketball which is pretty hard because basketball it, it's a part of us you know it, it's life especially out here with the stuff we go through challenges we face but I know somehow in 
some way we'll find our way back. But uh, this is just a story of us, what basketball is to us. It's uh, friendship, bonds, and time with others. And d was a part of that with us. So uh, I just wanted to make this for him, you know, remembrance of him. It's our love for him. This little clip right here. You check out this little clip. Uh, we started this deal called uh, Concrete Kings and Queens. It's a uh, three-on-three street basketball. Well, we just wanted to do some for the kids, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't call it a movement at that time. I either was the one that called it that, and that's what it ended up becoming he was always there helping uh, here's a little clip of him and i'll sign off with that and that uh you know loving memory emmett mcintosh miss you love you miss balling at the courts miss you every day rest in peace going live Lit in there. Concrete kings and queens. We in it. It's a movement. It's the next movement for seven mile. Seven mile youth. Keep them out of trouble. Concrete kings and queens, we got you. Game point. Oh. That team's got game point. Hey, boo boo there, fisherman. Lit up in here. Space.